Hey everybody, this is Ian Westerman. I'm the head pro at EssentialTennis.com, where it's my mission to bring passionate instruction to passionate tennis players, just like you. In today's lesson, we're gonna be talking about how to create drive, create a shot that is penetrating and drives through the court aggressively, even if you have an extreme grip. And I wanna give a shout out to Gareth in Ireland, who really kind of prodded me to make this video, but I've received this kind of question from many of you out there. And first, we, before we get to how to fix this problem, and that is many of you out there have kind of extreme grips. You've been told that you need a, a full Western grip in order to make topspin, which is absolutely not true. But if you happen to have a full Western grip, very frequently players experience an inability to hit a shot that penetrates and drives through the court. All of their shots have a lot of loop and maybe they're stepping into the court and they wanna hit a, a finishing shot, but everything they hit just kind of sits up because there's so much topspin on everything. Well, before we get to the solution, it's important to understand the problem. And there's many other, of you, uh, there's many other players that wish they were able to hit topspin. So it's not so much a problem per se, but if all you have is one style of shot, meaning heavy topspin or drive, one or the other extreme, then that is a problem. If you don't have the ability to do both, either create topspin when, when necessary or flatten it out and hit a penetrating shot when you're in the right situation, then you're, you're leaving yourself at a disadvantage. So topspin ultimately is created by the racket accelerating vertically past the point of contact aggressively. And the reason why a more extreme grip helps create more topspin is simply because it puts the palm of your hand underneath the racket. And so as we're trying to create a shot with a lot of topspin, it helps to have the hand under the handle, under the racket. At contact, we're making contact with the racket just about perpendicular to the court surface. So if our, our hand is right underneath the racket, as it's in that position, it's very easy to just lift the racket up and accelerate the racket vertically to create all that topspin. If we have a continental grip and we're hitting you know, a very old school kind of direct lateral swing, out towards our target, well, that has the palm of our hand right behind the grip, which is essentially right behind the racket face. And so it just lends itself to driving through and out towards our target. So those are the two extremes. Now that doesn't mean that you can't take a continental grip and hit topspin. It just means that biomechanically, it's a little bit tougher to drop the racket head below the point of contact and accelerate upwards. On the other end of the spectrum, if you have a full Western grip and you're currently making only topspin, it means that you're dropping the racket head more than what you want in those situations where you're trying to drive through the ball. So Gareth and the rest of you watching, the key here is to not allow the racket head to drop well below the point of contact as you're taking the racket back and setting up. That might be tricky because that's essentially you know, what this grip makes it easy to do. It makes it very easy to drop the racket head and then come up in using more of a, a windshield wiper type motion and coming around and accelerating vertically very aggressively. You can still flatten your shots out, Gareth. You just need to line the racket up directly behind contact as, as you're setting up, taking the racket back, and then use your core, use your chest and your shoulders to rotate through the point of contact and then out towards your target before you release and finish the swing. As opposed to dropping the head, coming up and coming around, just drop to the point of contact and then rotate through and accelerate through out towards your target before you actually turn the racket head over and finish, finish the shot. So it's all about the direction of acceleration. If the direction of your acceleration is predominantly towards your target, it will be a drive type shot. If the direction of your acceleration is predominantly vertical, it will be a heavy topspin type shot. So it's all about dealing with your habits, finding what it feels like to do that other direction of acceleration, and then experiment and add that other layer to your game. So hopefully this has been helpful to you. Uh, get a little bit more of a, a concept of kind of the forces behind topspin versus drive. 
If you've enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and click like. Also subscribe to the Essential Tennis YouTube channel so you don't miss out on future lessons. Also leave any comments or questions that you may have in the, sec in the little box thing <laughs> down below. So with that, thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate it. Take care and good luck with your tennis.